these Highway 40 blues I've walked holes in both my shoes Counted the days since I've been gone And I'd love to see the lights of home I wasted time and money too Squandered youth in search of truth But in the end I had to lose Lord above I paid my dues Got these Highway 40 blues The highway called when I was young Told me lies of things to come Fame and fortune lies ahead That's what the billboard lights had said Shattered dreams my mind is numb Money's gone, stick out my thumb My eyes are filled with bitter tears Lord, I ain't been all the years Got the Highway 40 Blues I'm Piggy Boy Boy, I can't use Dixieland. I sure miss you. I got the Highway 40 Blues. <laughs> now, I don't exactly have holes in my shoes, but partners, I surely hadn't been home in a too long time. They say home is where the heart is. And mine's kind of split in two. Half of it right here, and half of it back there. I mostly miss my kinfolk, and we got lots of kin. Why, my Uncle Rufus has so many young'uns that one day when they was out walking, a policeman arrested him for holding a parade without a permit. <laughs> Do y'all know the definition of heredity? It's something a father believes in until his son begins acting like a darn fool. My dad clean quit believing in heredity the day I told him I was going to hit the trail to stardom and took to the road with just the clothes on my back and my guitar in my hands. But my grandma, my grandma, she was all for it. She packed me up some homemade apple butter and a chicken pie Slapped me on the back and said, go get them, tiger. Partners, it were at Grandma's house that I first learned to play this old guitar. We'd sit around singing and playing. Us kids would have the best darn time. <laughs> Especially after lights out. When I was a little bitty boy, just got off the floor. We used to go out to Grandma's house every month end or so. We had chicken pie and country ham and a homemade butter on the bread. But the best darn thing about Grandma's house was a great big feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four eleven geese, took a whole boat of cloth for the tick. It would hold eight kids and four hound dogs and the piggy that we stole from the shed. We didn't get a lot of sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. Supper. We'd sit around the fire and the old folks would spit and chew. Daddy would talk about the farm and the war and Granny'd sing a ballad or two. I'd 
sit and listen and nod by the fire till the cobwebs fill my head. Next thing I knew, I'd wake up in the morning in the middle of the old feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four and eleven geese, took a whole bolt of cloth for the tick. It would hold eight kids and four hound dogs in the piggy that we stole from the shed. We didn't get a lot of sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. Well, I love my ma, I love my pa, I love Granny and Grandpa too. I've been fishing with my uncle, I wrestled with my cousin, and I even kissed Aunt Lou. <laughs> If I ever had to make a choice, I reckon it'd have to be said. I'd trade them all in, plus a gal down the road for Grandma's feather bed. It was nine feet high and six feet wide, soft as a downy chick. It was made from the feathers of four and eleven geese, took a whole bolt of cloth for the tick. It would hold eight kids and four hound dogs in the piggy that we stole from the shed. We didn't get a lot of sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. We didn't get a lot of sleep, but we had a lot of fun on Grandma's feather bed. That's what you might call a ticklish situation. <laughs>